classes are the building blocks of TypeScript. And what classes allow us to do is some really powerful and interesting things, right? So in this case, we didn't really see a whole lot, right? So if we look at main.js, it kind of renders out and it's, you know, it's, it's pure JavaScript and it looks fine, um, but it's not actually doing a whole lot, right? So let's, let's make it do some more things. So what happens is when you define a class, um, let's actually just start this one over. We'll define a class and we'll say sweet, sweet class or basil. Uh, let's just say sweet, sweet basil. And we're gonna go ahead and put these, these um, curly brackets after it, right? So this is the base of de designing the class. Then we do something called a constructor. So the constructor is um, basically what we wanna have inside of this class or what we want this class to do when it's first created. Now this constructor in the last one we did console, we just did console.log and something. So that means that when this class is created a new instance of this class, it just does something. Well, what if we wanted to change what that something is? We can come in here and just say, um, well, let's just call it name. And we actually declare the type that it is. So we all, we use strings here. So lowercase string. And then inside of this console, we'll say hello. And then we'll just add that name. So that name is being passed in here. So now let's go ahead and call this. We'll just use let. So before we talk about let and var and all the, and how variables work and stuff like that, just bear with me until we do that. So I'll just say let basil equals to new. So new sweet, sweet basil and parentheses. So this is what it was, right? Um, new is saying create a new instance of this class. Now, if you've worked with Python before, this is essentially what it looks like with a new instance of the class in TypeScript and JavaScript, this is what it's gonna look like. So we go new and notice that, that I have an error here, right? It's saying supplied parameters do not match signature of the call. So if I actually come in here, um, it, notice it's giving me some, some autocomplete stuff here. And of course that's because of the, the package that we have, but basically I can add in a string here or I can say name and Justin or hello world, right? So we have that in here, but I actually don't have to pass in the names parameter itself. Instead, I just put that in and I've got name in there being world. Okay, so now if we look at the main.js, it should look different, but it doesn't because we have TSC not running. So again, when we need to compile things, we run TSC dash dash watch and hit enter, and this will watch for the compiled changes. And then of course we need to run our server again. So HTTP dash server C dash one. So dash one, or excuse me, dash C dash one. That will make sure that we're not caching anything or our server's not caching anything. Um, so now that we've got that, let's go ahead and look at that server again. I'll just refresh in here. And in our console, we see it says, hello world. Um, if I do this a couple more times back in main.ts, I can say, hello basil for hello basil and then world for the first one we save that and we refresh in here and notice that it does it as is now something that you'll also notice is that we can't use the same variable multiple times that is i can't declare it multiple times again we'll come back to variables but basically you have to declare the variable to use it of course i could do something like this where i'm just redefining the variable so if i refresh in here it's still doing the same sort of thing but when i use basil again um, this would actually go off of this second version um, so to see that in action let's actually add a method to this class so methods are functions that work inside of a class right so functions that work inside of a class so if i wanted to create a function in here this is where i could do it so we'll just say like let's say color okay so this is going to be the name of my method i'll use parentheses and curly brackets much like the constructor and then i'll just say console log green okay so um let's go ahead and just say basil dot color use the parentheses after it we save that a refresh on our page and we see green coming through now, why is it that we only see green once, but yet we see new basil, like basil coming through 
twice, right? So I'm actually calling new sweet basil twice. Well, I actually only call color one time, uh, obviously. So that's that's the big part of it. So if I did let world again, or let basil here, and then say let world, I could do world.color, and then it will actually run it twice. Okay, so cool start, but let's actually take a look at main.js, right? So all of that JavaScript was now compiled into this. Um, Prototype.color equals the function. Um, so that is something that, you know, it's doing the same sort of thing, but it's just a lot more code. Um, granted, I actually have more lines of code in the TypeScript. So if I cut it down, it goes to, these are 12 lines here versus 13 lines. What do you know? It's actually one extra line. Um, and that does make a difference long term. But the main thing here is how it's being compiled and how it's moving into things. All right, so that's some more stuff on classes. Um, and the next one, we're actually going to talk about inheritance in classes and how that works.